in fifth. Elio Castro Nevis is sixth. Amen. Look at what happened. What's wrong with Vizo? All of a sudden, Vizo pulls over. He can't be out of fuel. No, and he's got to keep tight around the race course. Otherwise, he's going to take somebody out going through there. But a smart move to pull over to the inside. Now, will they get through this 135-mile-an-hour oh. chicane without hitting? Unbelievable. Di Silvestro, Ray Hall, now Ryan hunter Ray. And now he's got to try and make it over to get into pit lane. Oh, why is he staying on the track? Probably just couldn't get over. This might cause a full course yellow. Certainly will help Vitor Mira get back up to the tail end of the group. And look at Ray Hall trying to go underneath Di Silvestro, and then Ryan Hunter Ray makes contact, and Di Silvestro goes around. Oh, Ryan Hunter Ray, what a great move avoided. Simona, that was happening all in front of him so quickly. Now here comes that full course yellow. Still green right now. They have not shown the full yellow. It's trying to see if she can get refired, and I don't think she stalled it. So uh, without having the starter on board, she's going to need some help. Well, this is going to be tight. They may try and dispatch the Hamaltro crew to get over there and get her started, but here we go. That's at the end of the long straightaway, Marty. You cannot take a chance down there. So our fifth full course caution, and we're still trying to figure out what happened to EJ Vizo, his best chance at victory. And Rick, what's the latest? What are they telling you? It sounds like it is something in the gearbox. Not totally sure, but that is what EJ is saying from the car. He believes it's a problem with the gearbox. You can imagine the frustration of this team. EJ had his best career finish here back in 08, finishing fourth. They thought they smelled victory because of the fuel strategy. And now, as a result of what may be a mechanical problem, it is done. Rick, we're going to interrupt uh, as Scott Dixon has hit the wall. And we don't know exactly where that is on the race course. Oh, I think he hit the inside wall on the right front wheel from the damage I saw in the car. And then he went off and hit the wall itself. Now, let's watch to see how this goes. Watch the right front wheel. Hits right there and goes off into the outside wall. We've seen that quite a few times with drivers here because when the car sits stationary, you can see that the right front wheel has been broken. That's usually by clipping that inside wall. That is turn nine. Two years ago, the same thing happened to Tony Kanaan in a qualifying session. And look at the speed bumps that have occurred to some of our top names here. Elio, 20th. Dario, 19th. Ryan, 23rd. And now Dixon, 22nd in 08, 16th last year and now oh another tough break and here is ej Vizo. he has finally nursed it back to pit lane and the engines look at him just shaking his head he can't believe it cannot believe it well we talked about how this will help uh mira get back up to the back end of the crew but right now ej is not down a lap but the group is starting to come back through the back section and if they don't get this fixed and get him out then he's going to turn around and go down a lap so Simona gets refired. She'll get back out there. And uh, let's get caught up with uh, Jimmy Vassar. He's with uh, Vince. Jimmy, any indication as to what happened with EJ's car? Yeah, he came on the radio and said uh, something with the gearbox, which is really unusual because the things are pretty much bulletproof. Just very disappointing for the guys. Uh, you know, the whole team was doing a great job. We put ourselves in a position there. Uh, good to go from the end. Caught that yellow. EJ was doing a great job, but... Um, <laughs> Just, just very, very disappointing. Heartbreaker for the KV group. It, it really is. I mean, since coming over a couple of years ago uh, after unification, this team has been working their way up as here comes Simona into uh, pit lane and a uh, heartbreaking end for their day. Let's go back and show you while she gets ready to get a new nose put on. Take you back and show you what happened once again down in turn one. Turn one is always a very busy spot. Now let's watch the screen to see what happens. She starts to get uh, turned in. Ray Hall is there, and then Ray Hall drives over the front of the nose. I thought she did a good job trying to give a little bit away, but now watch what happens. Ray Hall's just got his car going around just a bit too much, can't get it slowed down, ticks the back of her car, knocks it around. You'll see his left front wheel come in and just hit the right rear of her car, sends her around a little bit. She did a great job, Marty. She was giving some space to the Dollar General machine. Now we're gonna go on board here with Ryan Hunter Ray. And he, he's trying to follow in with Ray Hall because he thinks he might get through, but Ryan Hunter Ray does a great job of moving around. There's no thinking going on there. That's just instinct. So uh, Simona gets the new nose and heads uh, back out onto the uh, race course. 
And while we've got a moment, let's talk about the NCAA Women's Championship because it's going to continue on ESPN tonight. We've got the regional final action. Number four, Baylor against number two, Duke at seven. Then at nine, Xavier against the number one rated Stanford team. And that is going to be the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One on ESPN tonight. And look at the crowd that has come out for the race. Uh, tip of the hat, as we mentioned once before, to everybody here in the St. Petersburg area and, and to the, the city for allowing the, the, the race to continue into an extra day. All the businesses that are affected, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. And let's get a chance to uh, catch up with Scott Dixon, a very disappointed Scott Dixon. Jamie? Yeah, he's just walking down the pit lane by himself right now. Scott, what happened there? Uh, just the car was fantastic. Target team had done a great job all weekend. You know, I uh, made a mistake hitting Sato there. Obviously ruining his day as well. We had to come in for another wing and uh, we fought our way back. I think we're sitting about fourth, so the car was really good. And I just clipped the inside wall at nine and it threw me out on the exit there and uh, damaged the car pretty bad. So two mistakes on my part and uh, unfortunately no points. Another bad finish for you, as you mentioned, points. Is it too early to be thinking about championship? Yeah, well, you do, because it's so tight now, and the competition's very tough, and uh, anything you can give up, like we did at the start of last year, it hurt us at the end. So if we had the, those valuable points, the championship could have been totally different. So I don't know. We have to uh, hopefully try and get some points in Birmingham. All right, thanks. That's Scott Dixon. Marty? Well, well, and there's one other big event that these guys point towards this early in the season, and not just the championship. And, of course, we're talking about the Indianapolis 500. Elio Castroneves will try to become the 